Hey hello everybody, my name is Kate and welcome back for another video of NHL 9 Destiny mode or Dynasty mode. I'm always saying it wrong. For some reason in my head it feels like it's Destiny instead of Dynasty. I don't know guys. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, we're continuing this series uh, playing as the uh, Atlanta Thrive uh, Trashers into our third season. We just finished our third season. We are going into the playoffs right now against uh, Philadelphia Flyers for a second time in a row in the first round. Last time. Uh, last season we actually ended up uh, beating them pretty easily on the first round. Let's hope that it's going to be the case once again. And I got to go uh, farther in the second round because uh, I got to go to the Stanley Cup. We are a Stanley Cup contention team. We got to win the cup actually. And if we don't win the cup, I might be tempted to switch teams at the end of this season, guys. Because I'm pretty sure my contract is going to be over as a GM. And this is what's great about these uh, you can do it in the newer games, but you gotta got you gotta have owner mode on, and that's kind of bullshit. So in these ones, you don't have you don't have an owner mode. It's already there. You can switch teams when your contract is over. It's realistic. What do you know? Anyways, let's go. Let's start this shit up. We've got the Philadelphia Flyers, which they don't seem to have that much of a good team compared to us. They do have 41 wins, but look at this: 36 losses. Yeah, we can beat them easily. Let's go. I'm actually going to st uh, start the first game with a quick simulation like that. Or, or a slow simulation. And we'll see how it goes. Alright, so... We lost 4-2. to two, So what I'm going to end up doing then... Uh, Plant gave up 4 goals. What I'm going to end up doing... I'm just going to uh, do quick simulations then. It might work out in our favor a little bit better. Whichever one works out in our favor... The most I'm gonna use. Uh, I want to use Plant the most right now in the uh, playoffs. All right, I don't want to have to use Litton in goddamn Litton in like in all the playoffs every time. There we go. There's a win right there. So that's uh, one one right now. Let's see if we can win the third game, please. Let's win the the, the third game. Can't see it. Uh, Dicky Moore is injured. Oh, that's not good at all. Dicky Moore just got injured. Oh, uh, for 20 days? Oh, he's gonna miss a lot of time. Oh, we lost 6 to 5. Yo, what the hell is this? Come on, guys. You're giving him up 6 goals? Fuck off. Oh, I hate Plant, guys. I swear, every goddamn... It's been 3 years now. He's doing the same thing over and over again. He just can't play in the playoffs. For some reason, in the playoffs, he comes up and gives up too many goals. We're gonna have to play goddamn Litanen for some reason. Alright, let's go, guys. You got this. I know you can score goals. There's no reason why they can score that many goals against us. We've got more by our defense and goaltending. The hell is going on? Am I gonna have to jump in here and play for you? Is that what's gonna happen here? We're just gonna get swept easily in the playoffs. Like, we're losing 3 to, to 1 easily right now. What the fuck is going on, guys? We're, the, we're like one of the best teams in the league when it comes down to um, to the actual uh, season. But wh when we do get into the playoffs, we're just trash. We're giving too many goals. It's ridiculous. Let's just look in comparison. We gave 4 goals, 3 goals, 1 goal, 3 goals, 4 goals, 3 goals. Maximum four goals we're giving, all right, in this season. If we're giving up to five goals in the playoffs, it's not normal. It's just not normal. It should not be a thing. Last game, probably, guys, of uh, the Atlanta Treasures with me. Let's see if it's going to be the case or not. Good Christ almighty. Oh, my. It's not the end just yet. Gave up only four goals this time. Only. We, uh, we can score five goals per game. If we only give up less than that. Now, uh, Steve Shaw get injured as well. Which is uh, terrible. Because now we both have... Uh, both um, Dicky Moore and Steve Shot are injured. So, we gotta go for... That's not what I wanted to do. Hang on. We gotta go for uh, the roster moves. And, and get one of those players up in here. So, which one should be better? I guess forwards wise, it would be either. He's got a one way deal though. Once I get him in there, 
Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't know if I'm going to stick to this team. I'm going to stay in this team anyway, so I might as well put him. Aether, get in there, buddy. They're going to replace. Uh, you've got 86 offensive awareness, 86. Like, this team should be producing like crazy, and they're not. It's cr I don't. I don't understand, guys. I don't get it. 79, 87, 90, like, come on, where's the production, where is it, I really don't get it why we're not producing guys, it's, it's out of uh, proportion for me for right now, I don't, I just don't get it, alright, so, Plant, apparently you're up in there again, you played, uh, so far in the playoffs, you played, uh, this, so, 87 it's garbage. It's garbage. He should get 90s and he's not getting the 90s. He's an actual garbage coach under the playoffs uh, Let's see Lettonen what he does. He gave a five goals in this for only game 85 80 like I Don't know who to play here. I just don't know who to to trust none of these goaltenders are playing well right now It is lines. Okay, so there's more places. We got to put him Let me just put uh him the right place, the one that's replacing, which is uh, Aider. There we go. Is there anywhere else? I don't think he was. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we're good. We got two injuries. Um, 21 days, Steve shot as well. Dicky Moore is finally back though, so it was less than 21, uh, 20 days. Way less. All right, so Aider, you don't have to be there anymore. We're gonna put uh, put back. Uh, uh, Dicky Moore, good, uh, good Nose Lord. Uh, everyone knows that we're gonna need him as much as possible. We're gonna go back into the this, and we're gonna get you in here. There we go. And okay, let's put back. Uh, I guess Dicky Moore up in here. Everywhere he's supposed to go. He was only on two lines. That's I. I needed to change him. I believe. No. Okay. All right, let's go. We got this, guys. Ottawa eliminated the Montreal. Montreal is not having a good time. All right, so hopefully, hopefully, can make this something happen, guys. I swear, win this game. Cut, make a comeback, guys. Make a comeback. I, I believe in you. You got this. All right, Plant. You're a goaltender. You're in the 90s plus, mid 90s. You're a legend. You should be able to play very good in the playoffs. You won five cups for Christ's sake. You should be able to win the to win the cup in the in the game as well. Come on, fucking got this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Five to two. We can make a comeback, guys. That is what I'm talking about right here. Seventh game right now. We're going to seventh game in the first round, and this shit is so stressful for no reason. They've got 36 losses, we got 20 in the season. How are we losing so much uh, against them? Like, how would we lose three times? Shit is ridiculous. Let's go. Let's make a comeback happen, guys. I believe in you. Let's do this shit. Let's win this round. Make the comeback. Uh, get this thing past, uh, past us, alright? Oh, fuck! Fuck this franchise, guys. We're going for another team. Trashers are not good in the playoffs. I don't know why. We just lost in the seventh game. We made a comeback. Fucking Blount win this five goals a game. I swear. Terrible goaltender in this game for some reason. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, we're going to uh, nowhere. We get uh, eliminated in the first round, which is terrible. Terrible. So. Uh, finals exit, second round exit, and a first round exit. It's getting worse every year for some reason. I, I I don't know what to do, guys. I just don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do, really? You guys, I gotta tell me because this is uh, it's something else. Honestly. All right, so let me just. We'll see who's in the lead right now. All right, we'll we'll see who's the the cup winning team. And we're gonna have to switch teams because I'm not doing well with this one. I am gonna have to switch teams. It's just gonna have to happen, guys. I'm sorry, but... Fucking Trashers are not doing good because of Plant. We're stuck with Jock Plant. Alright, go, uh, guys. Here we go. 
the flyer is one the cop actually so you know what I might not switch teams anyway uh, actually then if that uh, then that's the case I might not switch teams because first uh, first year we lost against the Stanley Cup ch champions in the finals themselves second year was a bad year though because we uh, lost in the second round to a nobody team uh, third year though which is this year we actually lost once again in the first round but to the Stanley Cup li uh, uh, Stanley Cup champions as well so it's twice uh, two out of three times that we actually get eliminated by cha Stanley Cup champions so it's not that bad all right it's if you get uh, that's my thing it's it's okay to get uh, to lose to the Stanley Cup champions um, whichever one you are around you are but uh, you don't want to get if it's not the Stanley Cup champions you gotta get at least to uh, third round all right and so two out of three years were good enough for me I guess just because of that I thought the Philadelphia Flyers were gonna be a trash team they end up winning the goddamn cups somehow with 41 wins a season this team was trash in the season and somehow they got they uh, they win the cup I don't this game guys this game it reminds me of the newer games for some reason I don't know why what the hell anyways I might consider coming back unless I have an option all right unless I have an option a better option than, uh, than them all right I'm not saying I'm, I'm gonna stick with them or, or like it, do I have to stay with them I'm not sure is my contract over I'm not sure guys uh, we've got uh, all right so Sakic retired, so 18,000 points, really almost 19,000. He could have stayed a little bit just to get it. Anyways, that's really good. Uh, Jeremy Roenick, we've got uh, Nicholas Lindstrom, ended up finishing with the uh, the actual uh, Ottawa Senators, which is interesting. Matthew Schneider, we've got Fedorov, all right. We've got, uh, so Fedorov was one of the legends, so those legends right here was playing for us. We uh, traded him, I think, not sure. Uh, Rob Blake, really good. Gunshar, we've got uh, anybody else? Defenseman, doesn't look like it. Uh, Kozlov, uh, retired. Okay, so yeah, we've got a couple of legends and goaltender wise, we've got uh Kolzig maybe a little bit so not too many goaltenders but uh defense wise a lot of we've got three legends defensive uh, four legends defensive wise and f a couple of uh forwards as well so a lot of legends actually retired every year there's a lot of legends that retire so am I still with the treasures if I'm still with the treasures I guess that's good enough let me see the awards right now I forgot to look at that uh, earlier. So we got uh, our Morans last year for uh, got, uh, won the cup, uh, won the Maurice uh, Richard Trophy. A uh, trophy. It's it's um it's kind of um it's kind of funny that uh, Maurice Richard himself is not winning his own trophy, guys. It's interesting as hell. So Marian Gaborik, uh, Lester B. Person was uh, La Fleur. Uh, Frank Selke was uh, Mike Gruyere somehow. What the hell? Okay. Uh, Bill Masterson uh, was Le Cavalier. Carey Price well, uh, won the William Jennings. Uh, he won the Vizina as well. Martin Biron won the uh, Conn Smite. Calder Memorial was Carl Davis. Uh, Guy Lafleur was the Lady Bing. Uh, Chris Pronger of our team. Nice. James Morris. Uh, James Norris, so really good, the best defenseman of the league, Chris Bronger. Art Mo Memorial, Guy Lafleur as well. Art Ross, Guy Lafleur, so Guy Lafleur was the best player all around this year. Uh, Prince of Wales for the Philadelphia Flyers. Cr uh, Clarence Campbell, St. George Sharks, which uh, are the ones that went into the finals against the Philadelphia Flyers. President's Trophy goes to us for a second time in a row. We win twice in a row this president's trophy, guys. I mean, I tell, I'm telling, saying it's, it's okay. We we get, we're doing pretty good. So how many years do I get with this team? Actually, I'm not sure. 
All right then, let's just begin the uh, uh, the draft, initial draft. We always get stuck in the uh, 26 pick as well because we're getting uh, into the playoffs and everything. So let me just see what we can do. Uh, get here, I guess. So let's see. The best one, the only one uh, really good right now would be Bashai. It's 20 years of age though, right winger. Uh, it says uh, 80, so offensive awareness, we don't know anything about this guy. Uh, we don't know too much about this guy. Rated out of 10, so... I'd say he's 70 in some D-King abilities, probably. So I'd say he's definitely 80 in the athleticism. He's probably, what, 70 and 70 here, so... I'd say 75 maybe. It could be a 75 overall. Could be a good choice. I'm not sure, guys. Uh, do we have anybody for the goaltenders? I'm uh, I'm generally interested in that. So we have somebody here, right here, a goaltender right here. So uh, we got 80, 75, uh, so 70, 70. Another 75 goaltender probably. A low in league interest though so i don't think he would be that good let me see real quick he's got some interest oh, we're gonna pick him up because he's got some interest so bishai let's get you in here all right so bishai let's see what we got our first round pick for uh this year let's see what he was for us 75 just like i said see i know this thing for uh, uh like it was uh it's easy to uh, to know these things. So, did we miss on anything? We did miss on a seventy-eight overall uh, defense defenseman. That's a that's a shame, but uh, I feel like this guy is going to be pretty good. Bishai. So the rest you already know. We're going to do auto draft, auto draft for all of them, and uh, all the fifth rounds. There was only five rounds in those times, not seven. So here we go. We're good. Now we're gonna go into the free, uh, the actual resigning phase. Uh, we only have a couple of uh, right wingers. It's only right wingers we gotta sign. So, Bishai, 75 overall, nine, uh, uh, 20 years of age. He's B potential, so a top six. He's a top six. He's not uh, an elite, but at least we got a top six out of that guy. Definitely gonna sign him. And we've got Bradley. Bradley, I'm not sure if I really want him back. Um, this guy, not sure if I want him back either. I mean, 75 overall. This guy has a lot of potential, so I do want to get him back. There we go. But this guy doesn't have any potential, really. So, not signing this guy and not signing this one. And Bradley, it depends on what he's done for us this year. So, minus 70. Uh, 17 to didn't get into the playoffs so not that good yeah not that good is uh we're not gonna sign him again guys uh, bradley you can go into free agency we're uh, defense defenseman see what we got so we got obviously these two guys uh this guy i want to sign him he looks like he's gonna go to be a good prospect um denny 24 years of age. We're going to sign him. There we go. We've got uh, Murphy. Uh, Corey Murphy. Uh, what did he do? Oh, actually. There we go. Chris Pronger. We got to sign him. He's the best defenseman of the league. <laughs> he literally, the, he literally got the uh, James Norris. So we got to get him back, guys. Absolutely. Is he interested in us, though? Uh, absolutely interested. So he's going to accept the deal with no problem. You can I go for let's try to get him for a couple of years or four years so three and four that's uh, that's uh, 8.3 million right there or that's two yeah that 8.3 million there we go for four years let's try to give him for uh, that if the four years um, Sammy Salo do we want him back or not? I am not sure. What did he do for us this year? He did not play. He was a backup. He never got the chance to play. No, none of our defensemen actually uh, played this year. 
What does he got? He's not that uh, that good, so we're not gonna sign him. Uh, Murphy is not uh, it's not that good. He didn't play very well in the in the actual uh, thing. He's got a good uh, offensive awareness, though. He's really got a good one. Defensive awareness is uh, not that hot there. I'm looking for defensive awareness as well for the defensemen, though. Um, though I'm not sure. We're gonna pass on him. We're, we are gonna get uh, Chad Denny. Already got a contract. Uh, Denny Dan Smith. He's an old player. Uh, do we want him back? Offensive awareness is, is trash. No, he's not. He's not good at all. So we're not giving uh, getting back. Uh, getting him back. We've got uh, goaltenders Juggerson. So A minus. Absolutely. Did we just get him? I mean, we might have just got him, guys, because. Draft year 2011. We are, yeah, it's the draft from this year. He's a he's an elite. He's a low elite, low elite goaltender. We gotta get him. There we go. Gotta get him. Gotta sign him. And Turple, another prospect. Um, I'd say uh, a starter, low starter, guys. Uh, 77. We 67 overall. We have too many goaltenders right now. He's uh, been drafted a long time ago. He's 25 years of age now. I'm going to pass on him. All right. So let's just see who's going to accept our contracts. Who's coming back. Who does. Uh, who are going to give. Uh, who are we going to have to give more. So let's continue. Yeah. All right. So it's been a dream to join our team. Of course. This is going to be a great goaltender. Hopefully it's going to be better than Plant. For Christ's sake. Uh, Pronger. Yes. He, so he's going to be there for another four years with us. Nice. Up to, until 40 years of age. Denny, yes, all right. Anybody that did not accept, nope. They all accepted our uh, my offer, guys. So let's go right into the free agency. I'll have to check what we actually need for the the team itself. What kind of player we need? I'll see you guys once uh, I did the checkup. All right, guys. So I looked up at what we needed. We don't need too much. Uh, we already have plenty of goaltenders. We have a lot of goaltenders in the minors, uh, prospects, and all. And um, Lettonen keeps growing anyways as well. Even though he's 27 years of age, I think the players stop growing at 30 years of age in this game. So, uh, Jacques Plant for s is 98 overall, guys. He's still playing like trash for some reason. I'm going to have to trade him for a better goaltender. Or just let uh, have a bit more confidence in actual uh, Lettonen. Have more confidence in that on and trade Jacques Plant for a great forward or def another defenseman, something like that would be pretty great. Have Lettonen be their starter because he would be a pretty good starter at this point, 87 overall. He's continued to grow quite uh, quite quick. So we need two centermans and one right winger. That's all we, uh, or one left winger. That's all we need, guys. Let's see what we got as an option. Brad Richards is interested in us. Uh, Raul Brindamour is not though, but we've got Brad Richards as an option, absolutely going to be a stud goal, a stud player, yeah, absolutely a great player for us. So yeah, let's, let's pick him up, he's going to be a great player for us, he's got a lot of points, um, he wants 8.2 million, that's a lot of money, but we don't have to worry about money, only that we can only give him 4 up to uh, 1 million more than he wants. Just to make sure that he, he does get what he wants. A three year, a four year deal he wants for uh, all the way at 35 years of age. I'm fine by that. We're going to give him the um, the 1 million more. Just to make sure that he does come back, come back for us. Uh, does sign with us. There we go. We need another sentiment now. That might be... Uh, interested in us so let me just see which one could be interested there's a not a lot of uh, these all these top uh, def centermen are not interested in us at all that's interesting that's really interesting guys all right there's one that's interested in us Boyd Gordon but at this point I think I might have actual def uh, centermen already I, ha I might have some centermen that are interested in us already so at this point we might as well forget it Left winger, and we've got Simon Gagné is not interested in us. Got oh, nobody's interested in us. That's not good at all. That's not a good at all, guys. That's not. 
Well, that's not funny. They don't, no, none of them wants to sign with us. All right, well, forget it then. None of them wants to sign with us. Uh, we got nobody. Yeah, nobody wants to sign with us. Defenseman, Caberly doesn't want to come. Nope. There's nobody, literally nobody that wants to, <laughs> wants a piece of us, guys. Goaltender wise, we've got Chris Osgood and all. No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good, guys. Nobody wants to really get with us, so we're good. Only one cinnamon, only one signing we're going to try to get, and it's Brad Richards. All the other ones are not interested in us, so we cannot go uh, for them at all. So let's see what we got. Uh, hopefully he signs with us. Hopefully he does. I really hope so, guys. Please do sign with us, Brad. Appreciate you. Oh, no. Which team did you go for? Hang on. Okay. Uh, Paul Martin for straight up for Kubina? Why would I do that? Absolutely not. Hold on. Maybe he's got more pun. Okay, so what does he have? Uh, 84, 83 is actually pretty good. 84, 88, uh, 82. I mean, it's the same player. He's got better overall, though. No, I am not doing that trade. That's a stupid trade. Who did he go for? Fuck, man. Uh, Brad Richards went with the... Oh, Jesus. He went with the Nashville Predators for five years. A five-year deal. Oh, no. We gotta sign somebody, guys. I need a centerman. I need a centerman right now. Please tell me. Bradamo is not interested in us at all. We cannot go for any of these guys. The only one I can go for would be uh, Pouliot or uh, Brooks Like or something like that. I already have 79 goal, uh, defense, centermen. So. What we can hope for is maybe nobody's going to want Brendamo. If nobody wants Brendamo up until, uh, what, what is it? Up until here, then we're going to be able to go for him. Let's, ho let's hope that Brendamo is still available. If he is, we're going to be able to go for him, guys. Ah, damn it, man. Nobody wants to go with us. We won't be able to actually upgrade our team right now. Except when we actually... Okay, so we will be able to get uh, Brenda Moore up in here. At least. Since nobody's going to sign him. So, Brenda Moore, you're going to get with us. All right, you're going to go with us. So, 4.8. He's got D minus potential. He's going to stop growing a lot. All right, so a one-year deal. I'm fine by that with the one-year deal. He might actually try to retire. So, one-year deal... I'm gonna make sure to get him. I'm not too much. Let's get him for uh, 5.4. He should accept uh, our offer right here. He's the only one. Uh, we're the only ones who are going for him. So I don't feel it fit. I'd fit in in your locker room. Give my age and the makeup and the make up of your team. Okay. I he is uh. He's being a problem right now. He's a little bitch. No wonder nobody wants him. For Christ's sake. You know what? Fine. I'll give you the 5.8 for a goddamn year. If you want it. That's all you want. Alright? So that's what you want. I'll give it to you. God damn it. Just pick it up. Sign with us already. Stop being a dumbass. There we go. Extremely happy to accept. We've got Rod Benamo, guys. We got a better D center man core center core. We need better defensemen. So what I'm gonna do? We got the team we need to have right now. I'm just gonna try simulate uh, the rest of the free agency up until um, what? Up until I guess the uh, the start of this of the year itself. And on the start of the year, guys, uh, which should be around here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make start the trades up um we're gonna stop the video right here though and we're gonna do the, the we're gonna start the next video with uh the trade of jacques plant the biggest trade probably of the atlantic trashers history and um we'll see how it goes all right i don't know who we're gonna trade him for 
But I've got full confidence on Letonen since he's 87 overall. He's a pretty good goaltender. Much he's playing much better than Jacques Plante. So I have full confidence on him to be our starting goaltender. And we're gonna give him a chance, really. So waivers, we're good. Just give him there. Alright, so start of the year. Seems we're gonna be good. I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it easy.